I believe a lot of football players um, have built-in attributes that are perfect for golf. You got the speed, strength, the mindset, right, the mental focus. But the muscles don't help you at all, though. The muscles, they, the, that holds you back a little bit. <laughs> What part of basketball has helped you translate into a better golf career? Um, being, well, being a shooter, my touch, I think. Uh, around the greens, my hands, my putting, muscle memory. I think that translates a lot to the golf swing. You have to be able to recreate some of the same shots over and over and over again. When I see something clearly, like whether it's a line in a putt or a shot through a narrow gap, it reminds me of pitching. So actually some of the shots that really have like a tighter window made me feel like I was on the mound trying to look at a you know square inch off the plate or trying to hit the glove. Trying to relate any skill set that that you use in football to golf would make you a bad golfer. Uh, everything that made me good at at football, um, except for the mental part of it, how I approach the mental part of it, it would tear your golf game apart. For me in the sport of swimming, it was go, 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 go. I can try harder and swim faster. And here, I can't try harder and hit the ball farther. Honestly, I feel like there are times where I get super excited or like, like maybe I get anxious about a shot. So it's, for me, it's taking a deep breath. That's been something I've really added and paid attention to, right? Because I want to slow down. The way I play golf, I play golf very competitive. And so I, I use what I did for 25 years in baseball in golf. And it's going to be more in this part than physically. But if you don't have this mental part of the game ready to go, you're going to have troubles. It can be similar. Um, more when I'm trying to shape the ball, the similarities come in. There you go. That's good. But I, I bring it back to, to tennis terms. So if it's, you know, I'm trying to draw it or, or to fade it, I'm thinking more, how would I do that to a tennis ball? With tennis, when you're trying to hit topspin on the ball, mm -hmm. it's, your right hand comes over. My swing path for 20 years was, was in to out. So for me, when I'm hitting a draw, I kind of thinking that my right hand's gonna come over and naturally that's gonna bring the club a little bit more in to out. I'll try and draw one now. It's, it's more of a back in the stance and I just try and actually just use my hand to roll it over a bit more. I think it's the hips, um, you know, being able to flip your hips, that explosion that you have to have in football, that short distance explosion um, helps you on the golf course. Three oh four point six. Not proud of it. <laughs> Why do you think so many great athletes are attracted to golf? It's a sport you can't conquer. Uh, so many guys or so many people who still have competitive juices is, um, is a great, great way to still be competitive. For me, it's a great way of switching off from my sport, you know. You go out there four hours, whatever it may be, hitting some balls, all you're thinking about is the next shot, the, um, yeah, the next tee shot, the next part. So it's just really switching off from kind of uh, almost reality and just yeah, going out there and having some fun. I think it's because it's a challenging game. It's not easy. I mean, you know, see that little white little ball in the grass and having a, a small face of a club and you make a swing, it's not an easy thing to do. Ooh, that looks nice too. We trained competing against ourselves. Like you wanted to get better at the 40, you wanted to get stronger. That's competition against yourself. And then you go out, you get to compete against others. And this sport is, it's, it's the best at it. You hit balls on the range, you do all the stuff to, to get yourself ready. And then after that, you go out and test it against someone else and see if you can get out of your own way and allow the work you've done to come out. That's it. <laughs> Just the fact that I think it's a movement that athletically most people can make that played sports, but not everybody can get to the point of hitting the ball the way they want to. So it's something you can never master, but it's also something you can play for a long time. Uh, what draws athletes to golf? I think golf becomes a bit of meditation for me. Um, I think it's a really nice way to 
keep your body moving without destroying it. And a lot of athletes, you're, you're hard on your body. And I think golf can be a very therapeutic tempo. You just get moving. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's, that's why it's a sport that you can play for life. All right, how'd that feel? Pretty good. Should be right at it. Let's see. Let's wait for this number. We are at 100 yards, exactly. Oh <laughs> The thing that draws a lot of us to this game, um, you have that camaraderie, and that's the thing that we have here is priceless that you can't pay for. 